Taking an order. Click any free table on your work screen. If you are registering a new order, under the By Waiter mode, the floor plan will open. Tap on the table your new guests have chosen. You may also open one order on several tables. Count your guests and put the number in the window. If you have more than eight guests, click the three dots, enter the number and press OK. You can add any number of guests to the order. The number of guests that you enter when registering an order is taken into account for reports and statistics. This is why you need to record a new value if the number of guests increases. The order screen. On the left hand side, you can see the order that is being created. The list of ordered dishes with their quantities, distributed by guests. If the order is new, this area will contain as many lines, such as guest 1, guest 2, etc., as the number of guests entered when creating the order. Press the plus guest button to adjust the amount of required guests, but no more than the specified in the restaurant settings. If you wish this number to be increased, please contact a member of ICO support. These lines allow to split an order among guests and are designed both for the convenience of the waiter and the guests, as the guest bill will be printed out in the same form as the order was processed. Order screen functions. Above the order, a number of shortcut keys can be found. These can be used to change the type of order, move the order to another table, adjust the number of guests, or to change the waiter. Any discounts or surcharges can be applied on the order screen. Down in the left hand corner, click the button and then you can see your discounts or surcharges. If you wish to add any additional discounts or surcharges, please contact a member of the ICO support team. Back on the order taking screen, the full menu buttons with dish and dish group names are located in the middle. On the right, you can find a quick menu buttons spread out on three tabs indicating names of most frequently used dishes and groups. The quick menu can be set up by days of week. Please contact your ICO support representative if you wish to make changes to your quick menu. There are multiple ways to manipulate and manage the order. We can simply select the name of the item to highlight it individually. Or we can select a small space to the left of the item to select multiple items. If we wish to remove these items, we can use the X down in the bottom right hand corner. If for instance, we wish to select every item in the basket, we can use the notepad with the small tick. This will select all items and will allow us to manage or manipulate the order as required. In the interests of speed and ease, ICO has some shortcut buttons at the bottom of the order. Here we have a plus, a minus and a one, two, three. What we can use these for is to quickly add additional items. We can highlight the item and then use the plus button to add additional ones. And of course, we can use the minus to remove any. If for instance, we're going to add a large number of items, we can use the one, two, three button and then enter the required amount. To finalize the order, we're going to go to the payment screen. Down on the bottom, we're going to click cash register. On here, we have multiple ways to accept a payment. Cash payment, bank card payment, order payment without revenue, and finally, non-cash payment. To pay an order in cash, do the following in the payment window. Tap cash, enter the amount received from the guest, and then tap pay. The cash register will print a fiscal bill and the order will be closed. To pay with the bank card, we will tap bank cards, select the card type, for instance Visa or MasterCard, enter the due amount and then tap pay. If you wish to set up without revenue and non-cash payment types, please contact your ICO support representative. For more information or to see more training videos, please visit us at ico.co.uk.